Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. The rift between Nelson Chamisa and Emerson Nangangwa has taken an insider turn already and social media is left abuse as it erupts and Nelson Chamisa quotes idiom amid CCC recall controversy which has left everyone with jaw-dropping reactions. Yo, so much is ongoing right now and I'm about to give you all some insider details so make sure to watch this video right up to the end. Before that, kindly follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and most importantly, share this video with your loved ones and friends because you are creating awareness so they know exactly what is happening. Citizen Coalition for Change leader Nelson Chamisa has sparked outrage on social media with his idiom post. The turmoil began as news broke that 15 CCC members of parliament, that is the MPs, had been recalled from their positions. This development led to significant upheaval among CCC supporters. Speaker of National Assembly Jacob Mudenda recently declared 15 parliamentary seats in Matabeleland vacant. This comes after Sengezo Chabangu, who claims to be the interim secretary general of the Citizens Coalition for Change, recalled 15 CCC legislators and 17 councillors. He justified these recalls by stating that these individuals had ceased to be members of the CCC. Now, CCC supporters were so anxiously waiting to see how Nelson Chamisa was going to react and deal with this crisis. However, the CCC leader simply remained mum on the situation. Instead of addressing the ongoing controversy surrounding his party and MPs, he simply posted an idiom, much to be a disappointment to his followers. Posting on his ex-account, Nelson Chamisa simply wrote, and I quote, A leopard never changes its spots. Nelson Chamisa's post sparked so many outrage and frustration from his followers. Netizens called on him to take action instead of posting motivational posts, Bible quotes, and vague posts. There was a certain commenter who had this, and I quote, Pakuda action, not quotes and theology. If you lack strategy, you can step down and resign. During campaigns, you said this time, teen plan. Irepi plan yacho. Job Sikala has become a sacrificial lamb. You betrayed him 500 days of tweeting. Which philosophy of leadership is this? Another one says, just like your style of engagement, theological and vague. Another said, honestly, you are a political leader, Prezo, and we are behind you. We need clear communication regarding what's going on, not these poems and riddles. Ha, this is wrong. Then, this particular one got me. You are the leopard in this case. People tell you every day to cut out the prayers and preachings you refuse to listen. What is wrong with you? Step up your game. So guys, we discovered that so many people had so much to say. Some were bitter about what is ongoing. Some were actually taking what is ongoing to be very much normal. Some people are just feeling more or less like so sarcastically, you know, stressed because of all of this. And to tell you all for a fact that the Zim was seen today is a Zim which was fought by so many people some years back. They shed so much blood already, so much energy, time, investment, you know, family members, Literally, so much has been done to ensure that Zim is at least, you know, a beautiful country that it is today. In as much as it has, it has its flaws politically, probably socially, economically, biologically and whatnot. But then again, it is a great country and has great prospects. That is why Zimbabweans are actually saying fully well that they just want the right leader. They believe that with the right leader, Zimbabwe is going to be that one place that nobody around the world will ever want to be alive without at least paying a visit to Zimbabwe because Zimbabwe has got so many natural resources that if tapped properly, if used properly, I'm telling you that they're going to be so much outstanding in the international market. I want you all to tell me now what you think and feel based on all what is ongoing. I love you all so dearly and do want to take good care of yourselves too, please.